We're talking about Longia today. And what I want to talk about is this hook foot. Okay? Some people call it the seven star stance. That's what it's called in a seven star manus. We don't call it that. Uh, in Maywa lineages, it's either called the hook foot, the hook step, or the hook leg. But the emphasis is on the fact that the foot is shaped like a hook. Now, it can be used a couple ways. The first and primary way, if John is standing like this, it doesn't matter what stance I'm in, I can come in and they talk about the monkey footwork. Well, this is one thing that before I got into Mantis, I practiced monkey style. And this was one thing was we would hook the person's foot at the ankle with the hand and then play off that for our monkey techniques. It works the same way in Mantis. It can be from this posture or it can be from this posture. Okay. Now, it can also just simply be a stepping on the person's foot to hold them in place. That's another valid thing. And you want to step right where the foot and the shin join the ankle and you want to dig in there to hold the person in place. Now you'll notice I'm not putting a lot of weight there. The weight's still primarily on my back leg. But I want to pin them in place because the techniques that happen there are instantaneous with the hands. So this is just kind of an afterthought or the preamble. I'm going to hold them in place and then I'm going to play his face. I might also, as in Longia, this step is the predominant stance throughout Longia. So I may do this and strike across the throat, which I don't like. I don't, I don't believe in a stance like this, I don't believe I can get the waist power to throw somebody. I'm not comfortable with that technique at all. But it happens over and over. It may also look like this in Longia. Here's how I prefer to use it. Move in and catch him from the front and then use this to lock and throw like in Swaija. That's a typical Swaija move is to trap here, kick and pull to throw it. Let's do it from the other side. So, the idea is to hear, see how he blocks, leak underneath, and grab that arm while I'm bringing the hook foot in to trip him over something. That has a lot more power, in my belief, than this simple, he's standing the other way, and I come in and I try to throw him. Somebody with a rooted stance, they're not going any place. I mean, you could try to do this to me all day. I'm just going to drop my stance, drop the stance into a horse stance. He ain't going nowhere. Now he's also sitting on my knee joint, which isn't, that's bad juju. So, <laughs> that's why I do not like these type of techniques. I prefer the arm bar to pull him over because it hyperextends. When I do it, it hyperextends the elbow and notice what happens to him. He comes up on his tiptoes. Now it's easier to off balance him by shifting my weight around this way. So that's why I believe it's a more superior technique to be used in Longia. Thank you.